welcome back to Liz Sews. Today we have a spotlight on a new bra builders kit called Bohemian. Hope you guys have been enjoying these little spotlight looks at the different kits because Sue has been very busy since coming back online. Uh, she has lots of kits. I have a couple more to show you guys. So I'm hoping that this is something that you guys enjoy seeing and taking a little sneak peek and, and tour through these kits. So for Bohemian, this one features this really pretty stretch lace here. Uh, and going off of the description on her website, because I thought it was the most apropos, uh, this has sort of a terracotta overprint on it. So the lace itself is pretty opaque. So if you're worried about sheerness and stuff like that, it's not really an issue with this lace. Um, but that overprint on terracotta is really nice and it has a very soft pink, almost white background to that. It leans slightly pink, but of course, whatever you put behind it will take on a color a little bit better. Another thing that's kind of cool about this lace, maybe a little bit hard to pick up in the camera, but there is some gold intricate uh, thread work along the upper edge, upper and lower edges of the scallops on here, which looks really, really interesting. The color that is featured in this kit is one of their Her Seasonal colors, and this is Whisper Pink. So I have here uh, her medium weight power net in Whisper Pink. In the middle, we have the sheer cup lining in Whisper Pink, and then I have Micro Duoplex in Whisper Pink over here. So you can see how these different colors pick up, the, or the different materials pick up the dye. Uh, so let's see, one thing I thought was really interesting to look at is how the lace looks over top of these fabrics. So of course, sheer cup lining always has like really saturated color, but once you get it down to a single layer, it's just a hint of color, whereas the micro duoplex is much more opaque. And you can see how if you overlay the lace on top of that, you get two different colors. Like it really brings up the pink if you overlay it on the micro duoplex and it stays a little bit more in the skin tone colors once you put it underneath or put the sheer cup lining underneath the lace. So another thing to keep in mind. So this design is pretty much all over on the lace. So I think it makes it really easy to use, especially if you have small pattern pieces in your cup, like me, uh, but it also works for large cups as well. It's definitely one that can handle a lot of piecing. So if you have like a five piece cup, I think this will still look pretty nice because you'll still get the effect of the design. You don't have to worry about breaking it up at all. And then of course we have the elastics as well. So here we have this drop elastic. I have mine in half an inch. So this is the wrong side and this is the right side. Um, Sue at Bra Builders does such a good job with these lighter pale colors. I know personally, when I've tried to dye things that are more pastel, it, it, I get really uneven results. So I'm very impressed with her ability. It's, it's almost like she's been doing this a while or something. Um, yeah, so her, her pale colors like this really do have nice even coloration. They look really pretty. So that's some Pico uh, bottom band. I think this is the 5 8 and this might be the 3 8 I'm pretty sure. And then we have um, some underwire channeling as well. So the last thing I wanted to show you before I show you the bra that I made with this kit is just some comparisons. I don't have very many pink comparisons to give her because I, I think she has another like a Valentine's pink. She has a bunch of new pinks. I just don't have any of them yet. But I picked up two, I pulled out two of the dual plexes that I have that are bra maker supply colors. So this one right here is bra maker supply. I think it's light pink or maybe it's just called pink, something like that. And you can see it's a little paler, a little bit more, more baby pink, whereas this one is a little bit more saturated, a little bit cooler toned. And then this one I also pulled out as well because I thought it would be a nice comparison. This is her Peach Duoplex from Bra Maker Supply. But yeah, this one doesn't really compare at all to the Whisper Pink from Bra Builders. But if you have these colors here, then you can kind of get an idea of what the Whisper Pink looks like. And then lastly, I have the bra that I've made to sort of give you some inspiration for this kit. So for this bra, I've used a new to me pattern. This is the Labellum bra by Lily PA Designs. So I've never made this bra before, or made this pattern up before. I just wanted to give it a try. And one of the things that I thought was really interesting about the pattern is she includes a pattern piece that is a stretch lace overlay. So the interior of the cups are actually, it's a four piece cup. So you have one, two, a power bar and an upper cup piece here. Let's see if I can make that a little bit more visible. 
So you can see the five pieces that are in the cup, but one, two, three, four pieces that are in the cup. Uh, but from the front of the bra, it really looks much more like a three or two piece cup because of this stretch lace overlay. So the stretch lace overlay is smaller than the internal pieces themselves. So you definitely have to use stretch lace, which this is, um, so that the interior of the bra is what's giving you support and this sort of just like stretches over top of it for a nice smooth appearance and you're eliminating some of that seam line that's coming in right here. So you can probably see the shadow through the fabrics itself, but there is no seam line in the outer fabric. So for this one, I have used the Bohemian Lace on the upper cup and lower cup pieces, as well as the, the bridge here in the center. So I really like how this looks. I think it's particularly useful if you're somebody who's really wide across and it's something that you don't particularly love to look at, right? You can center all the lace in the center front of the bra and that's where the eye goes to and this sort of like all disappears around the side. But I just liked that interplay of the soft pink with the lace on this one and I thought it was is worth giving a try. So that's how the outside of the bra looks. So we have micro duplex in the power bar, the side cradle, and then I have the entire thing lined with micro duplex as well. Uh, but then we have the, the lace on top for the bridge, the lower cup, and the upper cup piece. And you can sort of see that from the inside of the bra as well. I've done the stitch and flip method. It's just my preference. I don't like having exposed seams wherever I can avoid it. Uh, and then I've used the Pico elastic that came in the kit to sort of finish my upper cup piece here. My preference is to not do micro duoplex on the fold just because it can be a little bit too bulky. Um, I'd like to keep that in a single layer if at all possible, which is why I decided to use elastics in here, whereas normally I do a folded upper cup piece. I do have some exposed seam allowances just here on the side. What I meant to do is her kits, let's see, her kits always come with this twill tape and a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just top stitch the twill tape over top of the side seam here on either side. I just forgot this time around, so that's how it's gonna look. It's it, it doesn't really impact the functionality of a bra at all. Uh, these materials are all knit, so they're not gonna unravel or do anything like that. And it's just a purely aesthetic reason why I, I tend to like to cover th those sort of things up. So I hope you guys have enjoyed a look at this Bohemian kit and I will see everyone next time. Take care. Thank you.